everybody. I have a very small um, shopping haul to share with y'all today. It's very small, nothing exciting. <coughs> I never have big hauls because I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff at one time. I guess this is probably a whole bunch of stuff. It's just little stuff, so I guess it doesn't seem like a lot. But anyway, did I get this today? Oh yeah. So I bought this. It's really big, but I wanted something that's just going to kind of hang really loose on me. It's just a plain black tea dress. Oh, are there pockets? Oh no, there aren't pockets. And it's got this little, I got this at Ross. It's got this little ugly necklace thing on it. I'm just, it, um, these come right off. So I'll just take this off because I won't need this on there. I mean, maybe I'll leave it on there just to see how it looks, but um, it dresses it up a little bit. So we'll see. And then, um, because it's just a wear around the house, just the household moo moo. And then I got me leggings, these really pretty leggings with this shirt to go with it, with these cute sleeves. Um, I wanted the shirt kind of big so it'll hang kind of long past my butt, but I thought that it went together really nicely. And for those of you who say leggings aren't pants, let me tell you something. Neither is your face, but I'm sure you've had had plenty of crotches in it, okay? So I can wear leggings for pants. All right, and then next, I stopped at World Market and I got me some tempura seaweed snacks. Um, I don't like the way they're packaged because you rip them open here and there's no real way to close them unless you roll them up and put a rubber band around them. But these are really good sprinkled on salad and stuff or, you know, just to eat them. And, uh, they're only 30 calories a serving, but there's no nutritional value at all in them. But, so there's that. And then um, I got some wet and wild stuff. Oh wait, no, let me show you this. I got me some Mario Brothers socks because I just had to. They're too cute. Um, I'm sure that either Marshall or Eric will be stealing those from me before I get to wear them. And I also got some granny panties because I love the color of them. So these, but they're like, they go all the way over the belly. <laughs> and I got some black ones too. But they're, they're cheeky though. They show a little butt cheek. You know, I mean, regular people can't see my underwear anyway. What difference does it make? And then I, I had never bought one of these, these wet and wild, um, eyeshadow palettes like this. So I got this one in um, Nude Awakening. And then I bought a whole bunch of brushes too because the plan was, I didn't wear makeup to work today, so the plan was to go ahead and do this in the car because I had primer on, but I never did it. I never opened it, but yeah, I got this. And then I've got one, two, I got three Wet n Wild small eyeshadow brushes. And then I got an e.l.f. blending brush and a concealer brush that I use for, um, like, to do a little bit of liner with the shadow. And then I got two lip colors, just their little 98 cent ones in Secret Mauve right here. And what's the name of this color? Will You Be With Me? So, because I... I can't ever just wear one lipstick color, and I don't know why. I just always have to mix colors together, and I think I'm like doing something really, some really cute ombre effect, and I'm not. I'm just wearing two colors that just end up blending together before I even leave the house. But it's my thing, and it's what I like to do. So let me open these up and show you these colors so real quick. Tina's going a little bananas. What's up, Tina? 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 Tina, what's up? <clears throat> okay, so this is the... This is the mauve one. I love the way lipstick smells. So that's the mauve one. Ooh, this 
thing. The cat. Okay. You have to get it on there just right. And this is the the slightly lighter version. Still kind of a mauvey color, rosy. But um I like it. And you know these aren't very long layering or anything, but I like the colors. So I got them. But I don't mind reapplying lipstick. Um, but they're a little cat suit, the suede cat suit things, the, the lippies, um, the matte liquid lipstick. They last a long time, I find. And then I got this mechanical eyeliner in black is black because, you know, you can never have enough black eyeliner. And then it has a smudge thing at the end that I'll probably never use because I, if I smudge, I smudge with a brush. Then I went to Ulta and I got the, I love the Ulta products, the priming products. So I got the Prime to Perfection five piece primer kit right here. I think this was $20. And it comes with the mattifying primer stick, the lip primer, which I love. Um, the lash primer, which I haven't used yet, but I like all their other primers that I have used. The matte eye primer and the faceless pore primer. I've used all of those and I like all of them. Yeah, and it's the, they're full size ones, so yeah, okay, they're all full size. Blah, blah, blah. We won't get into this, they're just primers, so I won't open those all up. And then I got their free gift because I spent, I think it was $19.50, if you spend $19.50, you got a free gift. So, a little gel silica pack. So, I got a $5 off coupon. I'll probably use that this weekend. Um, but the only thing is, it doesn't include prestige. But, heck, I'll still use it. I love a little makeup bag. Let me get scissors. So trying to uh, get the uh, refuse all taken care of at the same time, so I kind of kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> so anyway, cute, cool little bag. It's like a rose gold glitter bag. And then here's everything that came in it. So let's open it up. Come on, you. I, and I like the Ulta brand. I think it's perfectly fine. So, and with that, I got the tinted eye primer. Um, this was the nude eye primer. This is the tinted one, which I actually like this one um, if I'm doing like night looks or something. And then it came with a couple of their brushes. I don't find the Ulta brushes that come in these kits to be that great. Although, because you gotta look at them and see if there's a little crimp in them. Tiny little crimp. And these actually do have the crimp. So these might be good. It looks like they've improved their their Ulta brand brushes, the ones that come with these little free kits. They look like they may have improved that. <coughs> and then we've got this. What is this? Let's open it and see. It's a little, a little compact of some sort, little tiny palette. Okay. So it looks like bronzer. And illuminator. I've gotten these two before in different packaging. This is real pretty packaging um, to kind of match the bag. They're very light. Like, there's the bronzer. Yeah, you can't hardly even. Let me see if I can rub it on my face so you can see it. Yeah, see, it doesn't even hardly show up. But it feels really nice. And then the illuminator under my eye. Now I got to do it on this side so it's even. So, there's that. It'll be fun to play with. Um, I've never been really impressed with their little eyeshadows. That's one thing I'm not nuts about with them. But I was thinking of trying to do their shadows wet and see how that works out. Um, oh, but I like these colors. There. Let's, let me see if I can swatch these colors for you real quick. So I'm going to do the top three first. See, we can see this. Uh, yeah, they're really, they're really light. Um, but 
the plum pop. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we'll see what I can do. And then those are matte. Well, I think that's two mattes and then the pinup girl. I think this one is kind of a satin sheen. And then the bottom look like they may all be kind of foils. Yeah, so that's called Whatevs, that color. Autumn Spice. And Nutmeg. Let's see if these will swatch. Oh yeah, those swatch a little nicer. So, I mean, I'll use them. And then of course it came with one of these useless little pieces of garbage, which I hate. Okay, and then it came with a little thing of five makeup removing palettes. I'll throw these in my bag. And then the Limitless Lashes Mascara. Uh, this is pretty good mascara. I like their mascara that I think it comes in a little rose gold tube. But, you know, I'm trying to find that perfect mascara still. And then... Um, a gel eyeliner but it's a pencil so I'll use it until I need to sharpen it and then it'll just sit there until I throw it away and then the brow tint I've used this before I like it and then we've got the matte metallic liquid lipstick that's a real pretty color let's open it up and look at it since I've already been droning on for 12 minutes so What's a few more minutes gonna do? Get, get, get off my hand. Oh, static electricity. Get off my hand, get the flip off my hand, you fluffing. Okay, so here is that lippy color. Ooh, I'm terrible at swatches, look at that mess. But, well, I already got lip color on, so I don't wanna put this on, mix the colors, but I like that though, it's bronzy. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. And then there's this lip color. But this seems to complement really well. So let's open this up. Because they only sell it in like Marshalls and Ross and places like that. So I'm wondering, because it looks really, really cheap and poor quality. So I wonder if it actually is Paris Hilton or if someone's doing something shady. But anyway, so here's this lipstick. It looks like it's like a spice type color. Oh, but it's very sheer. But I like it. So can you see that? There's that. So I like that. I think that this lipstick with this little uh, metallic liquid lipstick will go good together. And then I got um, a matte makeup setting spray. So um, I think that's it. I bought Marshall a couple things. Okay, well, that's it. Um, I'm sorry this went on for so long. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to all of you later. Bye.